It's really cold. I think this is an uphill battle that I can't win since I got here and started cleaning out the snow. If anything, the weather's deteriorated. It's snowing harder. Got a few snow banks building up where I've swept. I don't know if you can see the contour from there, but it sure is a white day at the wash. this probably doesn't look like I know how to use a broom. There's two sides. Bristles has some sort of squeegee. The squeegee seems to work best, but I'm not fit for this. Woo! <sighs> this time to take a break. It's too damn cold. Progress so far. Phase one and two mostly cleared. Still at bay three in the automatic entrance and all of the vacuum area. Let's go get warm. And here's the bit that I cleared an hour ago. Ah. So now that I'm back inside and starting to thaw, got a bit of a sweat on now that temperature in here is about 50 degrees, which is completely different to 16 outside. I want to talk to you about how we keep our low pressure system uh, working. See, when it's cold, we use this Dixmore Wheat Miser to basically run fluid through the low pressure lines. So it comes over to here, if you follow this nest of cables, to this solenoid, and we just kicked in there. And then it feeds through these yellow pipes down into the pumps. All three pumps should have it connected, which they do. And that supplies ambient temperature water to keep the lines all the way from here through the roof and all the way to the tip of the gun from freezing. That's the, I'm sorry, that's the high pressure lines that we do. And then the low pressure lines is the system that I showed you before here. And uh, this will blow down all of the lines after use. So if we use the foaming brush even for a few seconds, this will then be commanded to clear the lines below a certain temperature once we're done with it. It does mean that you go through a little bit more chemical because it's flushing and purging from the pump room to the tip of the brush, but it means that your lines don't freeze, so it's definitely worth doing. This is something we need to invest in in uh, Covington because I know that we have lines that are frozen right now, but because it's so cold, there's nothing we can do about it. In today's episode of Car Washes on Ice, uh, I got a message saying that the automatic has frozen. Somebody paid and went in and it ran through all the phases, but no fluids came out, which is alarming. It got down to negative three Fahrenheit overnight, which is minus 20 Celsius or thereabouts. And just have a look at how the ice is affecting us. This here is the remains of our weep system. No idea how I'm gonna get that sorted. Uh, the bays are all still iced up. And then bay one here as well. Two and uh, one and two not looking too bad, still weeping, I think. But it's just dangerous. Well, nothing coming out there either. I think maybe we should have just shut. But you know, you live and learn. Okay, so I'm gonna try and smash. This ice, I already started. Just got a mallet, I don't even have a hammer. Ooh, slippery, slippery. But as you can see, <laughs> the hose is stuck here where it's weeped itself into a mess. Ugh, gotta love this stuff. Okay, I found a hammer, which had me gut, cut this little gully here so that this water can drain, reduce that hazard. Then over at bay three, sketchy, sketchy bird. At bay three, I managed to get the hose broken free, but there is just no moving this ice. Ow, got myself in the head. 
I think just to make sure everyone stays safe, we're just gonna close. I think we pushed our luck a little bit letting people come. Well, I don't want anyone to get hurt. So that's why we have cones, close down the base, come back tomorrow when it should be above freezing. The next step is go up on the roof, see just how much damage is done and if the roof is full of chemicals. I'm not holding out much hope when you look at these uh, icicles. I think that's wild. So next, my big fear is going up on the roof and finding a lake of fluid, uh, chemicals, rinse that's tried to come out of the automatic and base one and three, which I found out are now frozen. It was a case of putting the ladder up, go and have a look. Cross your fingers for me, let's hope for the best. I can't see any chemical, I can't see any colouring. There's an awful lot of snow up here. Let's have a look. Nothing says sketchy sketchy like walking on this and seeing a crack behind you. So if we are leaking for the automatic, it'll be somewhere around here. This is probably fine. <laughs> There's the uh, power supply for our lights, oh, for our LEDs. Look at that. Oh, you could murder someone with that. I gotta knock those down just in case they fall. Oh, one job turning into five. Okay, I may have found one of my new favorite spots. So I'm starting to think this isn't going to work. It's getting colder, it's obviously got darker. Using our city provided security lights right now because I forgot a lamp. I've taken the troughs apart. Gosh, it's cold, I'm out of breath just talking. Uh, I've got some R19 insulation, which isn't quite enough, but it might help a little bit. And then I've got heat wire, which I've added, which I need to secure because right now it's just placed. Let's see, it lights up on the heat wire. It's actually pleasant to touch. Ooh, that is nice. I don't know, maybe it'll work. In all honesty, this is a good lesson for Rick and I here at Bayou Brit. We thought we had done enough, but it turns out you can always do more. We should have insulated this more thoroughly and installed the heat tape before the base froze. We did discuss it, we just never got around to it. So um, yeah, it's entirely on us. But you could complain, or you could just crack on, try and fix it. And that's what I'm going to do now. Well, we've reached a point in the day where I have to give up. It's currently 11 Fahrenheit, which is about minus 10 Celsius uh, in the feels like temperatures. I've been up on the roof working with screws without gloves, meant that my hands are kind of burning out and come inside. In order to stay safe, equipment and people, we've put the uh, IQ, or DNS IQ2, into emergency stop mode, which will stop anyone from... Uh, trying to demand chemicals, they can use our Touch for Wash app or go through the PayStation. I'm also gonna turn the PayStation off, which I can do from a circuit breaker here. And that will stop people from being able to pay. We don't want people putting money in and then not getting the service. So uh, that's it for today. I'm gonna to come back tomorrow. It's gonna to get it up to balmy temperatures of 34, uh, two Fahrenheit, uh, 34 Fahrenheit, two Celsius, and see if some of this melts off. And uh, I'm gonna try and bring some power tools to get rid of that ice. So that wraps up this video. If you've um, liked watching me uh, chaotically try and fix things in the freezing cold, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know how you'd have done this better. Uh, probably bring a light would have been a good suggestion, but uh, I'll see you in the next one.